Hello, Scorpios. Welcome to your reading, your mid, what is it, mid-month tune-up for the middle of May 2022. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe. Can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Scorpios for the middle of May 2022? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine through your messages? Any messages would be greatly appreciated, and we thank you. What are the general energies that you see for Scorpio? general energies you see for Scorpio the middle of May we have the death card in reverse which is actually your card I am running a 24-hour turnaround special with bonus minutes I'll leave the link in the description box for you if you want to check that out it only goes until um, you have to book your reading by midnight tomorrow to get in on that special um, six of Pentacles is in the reverse in the challenge position Huh. Is this is this a connection of some sort and you're not getting your it's not kind of equal or you're not kind of getting what you deserve? Um, make sure you also click on the Vimeo link below for your extra extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances and your health in there specifically. Queen of Wands in the upright is in the advice position. Step into your power. Assert yourself um, in playlists, my playlists or your 2022 sun moon predictions 2021s are still in there see if they rang true for you and i'm going to be starting on my 2023 sun moon predictions i do those by request so you can start putting your requests in the comments i will put you in queue we end on the ace of swords in reverse as you move out of may into june check me out on facebook instagram like share subscribe donate anything in support of my channel and look for live readings in the near future um for me <laughs> okay, so Death Card in Reverse kind of says to me that your energies in the middle of May are you're staying in something that isn't a good situation for you. You can't seem to move out of it. Either you have a reluctance to move out of it or you're not real happy of how things would change um, if you were to do so. You're just kind of stuck. Um, if you kind of stay in this energy, it's not really going to be helpful to you. It's just going to be kind of swirling around in this stagnant pool. Um, there's not going to be growth or anything in that regard. Um, there's transformation awaits you and it looks like you're kind of putting it off for some reason. Um, I, my guess and what my feeling is, it's a connection to somebody, whether it's a family member, um, you know, I, I guess it could be a work environment or something of that sort. So it could, I'll, I'll go as far to say it's a person or it's an entity of some sort. And it's just not a healthy place for you to be right now. In the challenge position, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, that has me feeling as though uh, you're just getting taken advantage of. And that's what the challenge is. And, and it's happening, but you continue to allow it for whatever reason. Um, you're definitely not getting what you're putting into the situation. It's not an equal opportunity situation. There isn't reciprocity. There isn't mutual respect. All that kind of good stuff. So that is severely lacking, and that's the challenge. So it's almost like you kind of know this is going on, or they're telling you now, or I'm telling you now that this is going on but you refuse to move out of the situation. Um, I get it, sometimes we're stuck for reasons. We're stuck by contract, we're stuck because financially we can't leave, Or, um, but a lot of times we just tell ourselves we're stuck. <laughs> when, when we actually have other options, we just, you know, we're, it, it, options that will make us uncomfortable and we're gonna choose comfort over discomfort, you know, nine times out of 10. So um, that's what I'm getting. <laughs> for advice, Queen of Wands, they're saying step in your power. Like I said, it's time for you to be bold. It's time for you to embrace this as a challenge. Um, you know, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. The, the greatest things come through challenge, adversity, risk, okay? So you're gonna have to step up, be the leader of your own life, um, your own decisions, and you're gonna have to make some moves um, in order to kind of step out of this. And you're gonna have to be confident knowing you're doing the right thing for you as you're doing it and very powerful while you're doing so. And, and the good thing about the Queen of Wands is she doesn't piss anybody off along the way. She has charm, grace, very, you know, nobody kind of holds it against her. She gets people to do things um, without them realizing that they're doing things, you know, for her. So to serve her. So kind of keep that in mind. But 
as you're moving forward with the ace of swords in the reverse what i'm seeing is muddy cloudy not sure of yourself not sure what you should do um you know having a hard time kind of figuring out the xyz how it's all going to work out and that's kind of holding you back i mean if you need to sit down and you need to have a plan to get that confidence and that's kind of what you need to do i don't see you doing that from may to june hopefully you use your free will to kind of turn that around and become that queen of wands but we'll see um, okay, why is the death card here in reverse for Scorpios? Who is this person? What's this energy? Look at that. Six of Pentacles in reverse again, stating, yes, you are right. This is not an equal um, an equal relationship, an equal connection. Um, there's disrespect going on, lack of value, lack of worth. Um, someone not realizing your worth, someone not appreciating you. So that's what the situation seems to be. Um... The Knight of Cups in reverse, I was trying to ascertain whether this is you or the person. I think it's the person that you're dealing with because the Knight of Cups can be very, um, he's not a very, or he or she, whatever this entity is, um, they're not really, res they're, they're not very um, responsible. They don't take responsibility for their actions or things like that. And they tend to blame other people for what's kind of going on. Um, they can, sometimes they can be abusive. So they can be mentally abusive, physically abusive. They're not really good in that regard. Um, and I feel as though this is the source of what's going on here i think somebody is emotionally manipulating a situation and getting you to stay in it because of, of their reactions or you're worried about how they're going to react what they're going to do um and uh, i feel like every time with the ace of wands in the reverse anytime you tell yourself you're going to exit this or anytime you bring it up to them they kind of poo poo you or they're like oh what are you talking about you're not going anywhere like i'm getting that <laughs> I'm literally getting like you aren't going anywhere what are you talking about how could you leave how could you possibly leave um so you know this kind of this kind of has you kind of held down um you know Kind of shooting your confidence down um why is the six of pentacles here in reverse who's this person what's this energy okay so two of swords has you um saying i mean the challenge is you know that the push is going to come to shove you're going to have to make a decision of some sort you don't like either way the sword's going to fall because either way it's going to be like i said it's going to be uncomfortable it's not going to be something very pleasant um so you are trying to put that off as long as you can but the challenge is something's going to happen whether you do something or something's decided for you okay personally i think it's better to make a a, a decision that has um you know adversity associated with it than to have a decision decide for you decided for you and choose comfort or a comfortable situation which really isn't comfortable um king of swords in reverse this person is a loose cannon so this person obviously whoever they are they're very moody they're incapable of corralling their emotions they just blow up you don't know what to kind of uh, expect from them could play mind games um the king of swords in reverse is used for use, known for using his mental power to um extract what he wants from people so um this is what you're dealing with um might be you know putting a lot of pressure on you uh, to not move out of this situation he doesn't like to lose so if you were to leave and you were to take your power back that would be him losing and he's not going to put up with that he or she whatever or an entity whatever it is um judgment card in reverse and other challenges longer you stay in the situation the longer it's going to chip away at your soul okay it, it this situation is causing you to not have proper judgment of yourself so you're actually your your how you perceive yourself is actually skewed um you know you're you're believing the criticism you're believing you're lesser than um you know things in that regard and you need to really start pumping like pipeline some self-love self-care feeling good about yourself in there and see yourself for what you truly are and the power that you have okay but this situation is just depleting that um why is the king of wands here queen of wands in the upright for advice who's this person what's this energy okay so they want you to reflect they want you to use your intuition and what else and they want you to see your way forward so we have hangman high priestess queen of swords in the upright so hangman is saying hey you know what 
you don't have to do anything right now, okay? So it's not like tomorrow you need to pack everything up and leave or do anything radical like that. You have a little bit of time, so use the time wisely. Ask yourself um, internal questions. You need to ask yourself, why are you in this situation? How did you get here? Why are you stuck here? Um, you know, how are you going to, um, you know, what are your goals? What are you willing to sacrifice? Are you willing to face adversity? Are you willing to be uncomfortable, you know, go through an a unpleasant situation to get to the other side of it? So you do have time to kind of flesh this out before you decide something. You are going to have to decide though. High Priestess in the Upright, what feels right? Trust yourself. What in your gut is telling you to do? Don't do what I'm telling you to do. Um, connect to yourself and say to yourself, you know what? What is the right thing to do here? How do I feel? I have to follow that. Um, and the Queen of Swords here in the Upright is see the situation for what it is. Look at the bigger picture. Be objective. Um, take your heart out of it. The Queen of Swords, she just takes her heart and just throws it out the window. Um, thinks totally with her mind. Um, makes very wise decisions. Um, anyone who's kind of standing in her way, who's acting like an ass, um, she just disregards them. And she sees right through them. She also demands total transparency, total honesty. So this is all the stuff you need to incorporate in regards to this situation. Somebody, somebody is... As you not feeling confident though why is this ace of swords here in reverse who's this person what's this energy yeah um i wonder how long you're gonna stay in the box for okay i mean i'm seeing uh well we had the three of wands the eight of cups in the upright and the four of swords in reverse so i'm seeing with the three of wands in reverse um you know as you move forward this situation is going to perpetuate okay if you choose to do differently after this reading that would be fantastic i would love to see that i would love to see comments saying hey veronica i took my power back and made it happen but as for right now and i'm basing the reading on the energies at this present time and how they're most likely to move forward i can see you not being able to do this continuing to be set back um, continuing not to have opportunities and options for yourself allowing that to kind of perpetuate and exist um you might have a hard time uh, communicating with the other person, with the entity. You keep on telling them what, what you want. They keep on dismissing it. And that could be part of the problem as you move forward. Eight of Cups in the upright tells me that you're thinking you do want to move on from this. You do want to see what else is out there. You want to kind of pack up and leave. Um, it's also telling me you've already emotionally checked out. So what's the point? I mean, to me, once you've emotionally checked out, it's just a matter of physically checking out and leaving. So I do see you yearning to leave. Um, four of Swords in, in reverse, you're very anxious to do this. You want it to happen very quickly. But again, you're, <laughs> you're not doing it for whatever reason. You're the one to tell me what that reason is um, you're just getting restless with what the arrangements are you are getting frustrated that things aren't changing that's going to end up building up and up and up and you might just finally blow so just so you know um, I feel that either you choose to go through something unpleasant or you continue to perpetuate in unpleasant circumstances, but you're going to have to kind of um, step up and bring about change. Um, so that's what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM. Again, I'm running a 24 hour turnaround special with bonus minutes. I will leave the link in the description box for you so you can check that out. That goes until tomorrow at midnight. Um, also, make sure you click on the link below for your extra extra. It will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there specifically. In my playlists are your 2022 sun moon predictions. 2021s are still in there. I'm going to be working on 2023. Start posting up your requests in the comments because that's how you get in queue um, for your sun moon reading. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram. Like, share, subscribe. Donate anything in support of my channel is always greatly appreciated. And then finally, look for live readings in the near future. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to pull those off. Um, otherwise, I will see you in the Vimeo reading Scorpios. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.